Hey guys, I'm Curious here. Welcome back to The Long Dark, another series. This is going to be Interloper again. Um, I haven't played The Long Dark in a couple months. I uh, was playing some other survival games for the channel and uh, just uh, didn't want to burn you guys out on it. Didn't want to burn myself out on it. And uh, I now that I hear that August 1st is going to be the release date for story mode, I am like very pumped up. So I'm craving it. I want to do some surviving. And uh, we'll see how we do here. Hopefully this is a good spawn, because an interloper... The spawn is almost as important as everything else in the game. <laughs> Honestly. It is a tough, tough... Where are we at? Oh my gosh, this could either be... This kind of... This looks like Pleasant Valley. This might not be a bad spawn. Honestly. Why am I already... Why is my condition... Or why is my stamina got a red bar up there? What's up with that? Oh wait, is this? This is Pleasant Valley, isn't it? Okay. What the hell was that? Might as well pick up sticks. Got nothing better to do. Okay. I'm not sure where we're at. I'm trying to get a little bit of a bearing here, if I can. <coughs> Easy there, cowboy. Calm down. You're going to be all right. That wasn't that far of a fall. Don't be melodramatic. Trust me. There will be plenty of time for that type of... That type of reaction later on, I'm sure. I just want to get a bearing, more than anything. Where the hell are we? Okay, well, I got a river here. I know that much. Okay. Ah, I think I know where we're at. We're at one of the, uh, this is either... Alright. There's some reshy mushrooms. We're gonna grab these real quick. I think we're, I think we're pretty close to the farmhouse. I'm, I'm pretty confident we're gonna be alright. There's a dead guy right up here, too. So, that always makes me feel better. means I'm not the worst survivor out here, right? Stupid little bunnies. They can survive in this and they don't even need hands. They're just showing off. Some cattails. Always some good snacks to have. They require absolutely no fire to cook them. Now, if I if I am where I, it's either Contemplation Bridge or the Heartbreak Bridge. I'm not sure. I always get them mixed up. Which one's the uh, wood one and all that? But let's get up here and figure it out. Right, I did see a bridge up here. Yes, I think. Deer carcass, completely frozen. Won't do us any good at this point. We have no tools to harvest it with. Okay, I see a roof over here. If we can just get inside and warm up for a bit, that'd be fine. Is this the main road? I hope this is the main road. This might be like the general store area. I don't know. At risk for frostbite. We need to get inside. If that is an indoor building, we are definitely going in there. Negative 7 degrees. I don't know if we'll be warm enough in there, though. We still might not be warm enough. Okay, maybe I'm all mixed up. I, I, th I thought I knew where we were, but maybe we were at one of the other bridges. Like, I don't know. Like that, what's it called? Three Strikes Homestead or something like that? Or Farmstead? I don't know. Three Strikes something or another. Let's grab some of these sticks in case we find matches. Oh, this is not a closed building. It's just an open building. Not going to help us at all. 
I think we are actually... I think I know where we're at now. Alright, well. I'll take that. Hey, ooh. Carl number 107. Just kind of scared the crap out of me. Alright, let's get going. I think this is going to be the farm. Like the big field in the middle of the map over here. I was completely backwards where I thought we started. Oh, there's the radio control hut up there. Okay, I got the radio control tower or signal hill, whatever it's called. Yep. Okay, I know where we're at now. Oh, ouch. Easy there. So if we stay on this, this should take us right to, uh, our farm. Let's stay up here so I get a little bit of a visual of what's going on. There you go. Oh, farmer homestead. Nice. Looking for wolves. Not seeing any. Looking for bears. Not seeing any. Looking for loot. Not seeing any. But hey, this should be a warm enough house to get us up to temp. And there's, hopefully there's going to be some good loot in here. There's a lot of places to check. It's a big building. And it's a warm building. And it has good beds. So, six hours of daylight left. I could think of worse places to start, so I'm not going to complain. There we go. Let's check this car out here real quick. Who in the world parks a car out here? Oh, trunk's locked, of course. This is normally a waste of time in Interloper checking these cars. Uh, nope. Let's go. Let's just get inside. And there is a cellar to this place too, which is normally pretty good too. Oh, 39 degrees. Oh, it's warm in here. <laughs> Take the book. It's good for burning. All right. Well, at least our bones are warming up. We are slowly warming up. That's good. All right. Again, file cabinets are normally a waste of time, too. Actually, pretty much everything in Interloper is a waste of time to check, and occasionally you get very lucky and find, I don't know, like... a book. Like so, right? <laughs> Take it here. Nope, nothing there. First aid kit? Nope. Clothes. I need clothes. Nothing. Oh my gosh. Why couldn't, why couldn't, oh, hey, why couldn't any of these houses be like hoarders? Okay, that's not the right thing. See, I'm clumsy with the uh, menus. Let's take a look here. Wow, all kinds of hypothermia risks. Let's uh, cover up our head then. Which one's that? That's our hand. <laughs> Excuse me. Hiccups, I guess. This should be interesting. All right, head. Let's do it. Wear it. There we go. Now, does that get rid of the uh, risk? No, it's still there, but yeah, hopefully it prevents it from getting worse when I go back out. This is, I think the frostbite has to do with exposed skin. So if you have yourself completely covered, oh, sweet, sweet, sweet toilet water. Don't worry, guys. We're drinking from up here, not down here. Of course, I guess in a pinch you would have to drink from down there. Get all channel your inner canine, right? But we can take our time here and just kind of loot nice and slowly. Plan out our next steps. I think Signal Hill's probably the next step. And then, uh, probably head to the barn on our way out of here towards uh, Coastal. I do like to go to Coastal. For some reason, Coastal seems like a really good place um, near the start of this series when it's, uh, when it's Interloper. I have not. I don't think I found one loot item in any container yet. I don't think so. Yeah. I miss anything laying around here? It's possible. A lot of wood we can break down though for firewood. How are we doing on cold? Okay, we got rid of the blood sickles. 
at least we're not dying anymore. 83% condition. All in all, I'd say we're pretty lucky. And what is it? It's 41 in here now, so it's just getting warmer. That's nice. I think I can use this. Sewing kit will come in handy. Um, can I tear these up? I can. We're going to be doing some of that. We're going to be doing some repairs on our clothes um, as we need to burn time throughout the night. Let's do some more. <gasps> Ski jacket. 85%. Oh, baby. Things just went from... We're, we're set, man. We're set. Yes, I do. I have outer... Oh, that's... Sh what is that? That's shirt. Okay, this is clothing. Okay. Decent ski jacket. 3% bonus. Boom. Put that on. That look You're looking better already, Will. You're looking much better already. All right. Wonderful. Well, this game is now mine to lose. towels we can tear that up too i think we're going to be able to repair our clothes up pretty well take all that water we're going to need it now we need some fire making materials um we got this we got the quality tools which is nice a heavy hammer forge i'm not asking too much am i uh, yeah no, not too much I always have good luck with clothes in that closet. Oh, there's a container up there. Have I never searched that container? Or has it not always been there? I don't think I've ever searched that container up there. Hmm. This will come in handy. Worn leather shoes. Probably get you killed out here. Hope you have some worn socks. Well, if we don't have any shoes at all, that's going to be way better than what we got, right? We should have shoes though, right? Worn leather shoes. These are in better shape, right? Yeah. What are these? 67%? What else we got? 44. We'll stick with these. They're 5% wet, though. 6% wet. Okay. Come on. Oh, I already checked there? That's right. That's where I got the shoes from. This is a nice bit. It's like 10.5 degree. Oh, 12.6 degree warmth bonus. Kind of love that. Be almost 60 degrees when I get in that bed. All right, kids. This is a kids' room, right? Oh, no, I guess a guest room. There's another. There's another. Uh, sewing kit down here. Sounds like it's getting windy out there. Still 44 in here. Let's make sure we look under the beds. It's where we found the best item so far. Nothing. So we checked everything? I think we have. Alright, let's um let's go ahead and check the the cellar downstairs. Before it gets too dark. Or, yeah. Maybe we can check the tractor too. I think there's a truck. There's a tractor here, isn't there? Or am I think I'm thinking of the barn. Yeah. Okay. Let me check this out over here, real quick. What the heck? Well, that was weird. Now I have no sound. Something happened. It kicked me out. Feel numb. It kicked me out to the uh, to the desktop briefly. Looks like it's still recording. Not sure what that'll look like. And now I lost my sound, so I'm probably gonna have to restart the game. Let me try that real quick. It's saved, so I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys. Here we are. I think we got our sound back. Wait a minute. Hold on. No, we didn't. Yeah, we did. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I can hear the wind and the creaking now. Okay, good. What's this down here? There's something down here. Wood matches, baby. That's what I'm talking about.
Now the laundry down here, it's always a good place to find close too. So hopefully we get lucky. Nothing there. Nothing there. Mm, struck out. Hacksaw. Nobody needs this anymore. Nice. Right? That is a great find. That is a wonderful find. Now we can cut up uh, saplings. Get those started for uh, and, and carcasses. We can get all that going for. Uh, just looking around, see if I can find any uh, little fish hooks or anything around here. We can get uh, saplings and uh, things going for arrows and bows. We can uh, cut up a carcass if we need to for uh, the uh, guts. A couple deerskin highs. Some cured guts, deerskin pants. That's that's the cat's meow right there. That's what we want right there. That's gonna be it's gonna be tough to get though that that bearskin coat, survival bow, cured guts, arrow shaft, simple arrow. All right, guys. All right, I guess that's about it, right? At least as much as I can see. Great. Alright. Let's take shelter here. Get back inside. What's up here? Down here it's 40 degrees too. Alright, so we got four hours of daylight left. I'm trying to think what we want to do. Place to escape this cold. There you go. Try to think what we want to do here. Frostbite risk has passed. That's a good message. That was for my head. That's slowly deteriorating there, so that's good. Oh, hey, can opener. Nice. I tell you, sometimes just walking around and looking at things two or three times does it, for me at least. Oh, they just miss things. Which is good, because if everything was so predictable, this game would be incredibly boring. The whole... All the enjoyment comes from not knowing what what the next move you're going to make brings you. Um, I don't think we need to start a fire right now. It doesn't seem to serve any purpose. We have some cattails to eat, right? Let's check our inventory here. Got three cattails to eat. We got a lot of water to drink, so we're good there. Warmth, we're good on. Um, I say right now we just uh, we got some books to burn if we need to, and we got that's tinder. That'll be tinder as well. So we got six tinders, some sticks to burn, matches to burn. I think maybe what we do. What do you guys think? You want to go for uh, Signal Hill and then come back here? And I think what we'll do is we'll warm up for an hour. Get ourselves so we're not in a hypothermic situation. Try to get rid of that frostbite. Maybe we'll do it in the morning. I don't know. But I don't think we're that tired. We're really not that tired. You know what we could do? Let's do our repairs. Let's repair our clothing. And we'll do that for the rest remainder of the day. Because you can't do it at night. Or unless you have light. If you, you need to have light to, to actually mend. So let's do this. And then we should be tired enough to sleep through most of the day. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, bring up our crafting. I'll see. Now that looks like it should be the uh, mending your clothes. Alright, can I do it here? 89 on the underwear. I'm good on that. Worn jeans, we should repair those. That's in good shape. That needs repaired. Shoes are alright. Tuke's okay. 
for the most part. So basically, our shirt and our jeans need, definitely need repaired first. So let's do that. Repair. 30, 30 uh, minutes is going to be 70% chance of success. Nice. And it is up to... What is it up to now? 73% chance. I say we go ahead and repair it again. Because we're only losing 3%. Um, if we do it now. So let's just go ahead and do that. Nice. Good. Alright, so we got some brand new jeans pretty much. Worn t-shirt. Let's get this up. So our wind warmth bonus is 11 degrees and windproof is 5. That's really not too bad before the first night, you know. So, especially on Interloper. I'll take it. All right. 80% chance. Our 80% condition. Two hours of daylight left. Let's get ourselves something to drink. Wonderful. There we go. And let's get back into the clothing menu. Let's heal this up a little bit. All right. We got lucky there. We got didn't have any problems with healing up our clothes. I'll probably I'll probably fix this one up. Yeah, because we can take it almost up to... We'll go to 98% if we if we fix it, so let's do that. Wonderful. Up to 13 degree warmth bonus and 5% wind bonus still. Not bad, and we haven't even layered on some other things. So we if we find another pair of socks, we can put double up. So... Not bad. Okay, guys. Well, it's nighttime. We can't do any more repairs. So let's go to the master bed. The warmest bed in the house. We're starting to get tired. Um, I guess we could break down some wood, right? Need a hatchet. I can't use a hacksaw for that? I think... I would think you could use a hacksaw for that. Yeah, let's... 500 calories. Man, I don't know if I want to burn 500 calories for four pieces of wood. Jeez. But I guess it's, I guess we need to do it. So yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Well, hold on. Let me think this through. I basically, I have 450 calories here, and I need 750 to sleep eight hours. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to find a crate or something smaller to break up. I don't want to spend a whole two hours. There's a crate. I can bust that up. It'll take 15 minutes. So if I, I could get, what, it would take me an hour to bust up four crates and four times 60 is 240, so it's a lot easier on me busting up crates. It's about half the calorie burn. So that's the way to do it right there. Difficult to see, I know. I know there's another crate over here, I believe. Requires light to break down. That is such BS. Oh well. We'll fumble our way back up to the uh, bedroom here. I guess we'll just go ahead and sleep for the rest of the night. What's the temperature here now? 46 degrees. All right. Sounds horrible outside. So let's go ahead and get something to drink. Let's make sure we're above 750 calories. We're going to need to eat a little something. Close enough. We'll wake up starving, but our condition will be much higher than 86. We should be about 100 by the time we wake up. 
So, oh, 600 calories. Okay. I thought it was 750 for some reason. Maybe it was 10 hours. Yeah, that's what it was. Let's just sleep for eight. We'll probably wake up around six hours. 10 hours of darkness left. Let's see. I think we're going to have about four hours when we wake up. And a blizzard or fog has set in. Okay. So, unknown how many hours is left in the night. But we woke up fully rested. Thirsty. We didn't go the whole time because we still have food in our belly. 216. We're close. We're, we're pretty close, actually. Because we should have only... Uh, for eight hours, we should have had uh, about 150 calories in there. So yeah, we're really close. All I can think about is the food. Well, all we can do is really just sit here and in the bed. There's nothing we can do. Still blizzard out. 100% condition, which is nice. Let's go another. Let's pass time here for another hour. Getting weak. Still a blizzard. Pass time again. I know I am hungry. It's one condition point for when you're starving or whenever you have an affliction down here. Any kind of problem. Thirsty, hunger, uh, cold. It's one percentage point per hour. So... You think about a 12 hour day is gonna cost you 12 percentage points but then when you sleep at night if you can fill your belly up you'll gain that and so much more so it's better to actually starve yourself during the day and recover at a faster rate during the night all right well at least it's light outside we can go do things that are worthwhile like bust up a crate And actually, it's a better use of time now to bust up those heavy things because it's just one condition point per hour. It's not actually cat costing me 500 calories. So let's go bust up whatever, what was it? This thing in here? It was in here, was it? Was it the chair? Yeah, let's bust that up. It should cost me two condition points. So we should go down to 96 or thereabouts. Yeah, see, much better use of uh, time there 12 hours of daylight left and now we have a lot of a lot of firewood actually five pieces of wood so yeah that's a pretty good use of time actually and a lamp okay well I think what we do is we go for signal hill nice and warm let's go ahead and get something to drink before we head off We'll head up to Signal Hill, then we'll head over to Pleasant Valley. Hopefully we find a heavy hammer there. What's our weight at? It's got to be pretty light at 26 pounds. We are carrying almost nothing. Alright. Where's that? This way? There it is. What the hell's that squeaky noise? That is loud. Alright, so there's Signal Hill. Should just hop in the car and drive there, right? Temperature's negative 32 degrees, so we're gonna be cold when we get there. Obviously. We haven't even made it down a driveway and we're half frozen. Let's just make a run for it. for hypothermia man that message comes up so much all right so we're gonna let ourselves recover a little bit here because there I think there I think that there's a rope over here 
memory serves that we can climb up. So cold. Is there a rope? Thought there was. Uh, I think maybe it's around the next corner. Ah, oh, there it is. It's right there. Okay. We'll grab these mushrooms. We'll get up there. Get warmed up. If memory serves, the, uh, the little radio hut up there is not bad. It's not too bad for warmth. I think this is a bear cave. It's too windy to start a fire, otherwise I would next to this carcass and I would carve it up for the guts, the hide, the meat with the hacksaw. We do that. We're gonna leave that be for now. Negative 27 degrees. Our main thing is we need to get inside. Rose hip tea is gonna be good. So we got mushrooms and uh, rose hips. This would be good for painkillers in case we need painkillers in a pinch. For a sprain or something like that. We will pick up these couple crow feathers here. Okay, good enough. Alright, let's do this. No worries. This is an easy climb. So easy. There we go. Walk a little bit, because sometimes there is a wolf up here. But normally when the temperatures get this low, the wolves even stay in. Tired already? It's alright, we can lay down and warm up for three, four hours if need be. I've actually seen a bear up here once too. In stalker mode. Sometimes there's some good gear up here. In stalker mode, this is a really good place to go if you need a rifle, but in interloper, there are no rifles. There are no factory-made knives or hatchets. You have to you have to use improvised. All right, we're going to grab these real quick. There we go. Let's get inside. I think there's a metal box over there, maybe somewhere around this building. I'm, I'll check around later once we get warmed up. 41 degrees, nice, okay. I'd have been freaking out if it was like 27 degrees in here. Okay, yeah, so see, this is a pretty good place. The coffee's gonna be really helpful if we decide to summit uh, and try to get to the wreckage at the top of uh, Timberwolf. Ah, oh, work we boots, nice. That. Heck yeah, we can, and we will fix those up once we get some leather. Ragged. Oh, we're gonna stack it. We're gonna fix it and stack it, guys. We're starting to get our clothing in order. Right here, th those two items right there was reason enough just to come up here, honestly. Another sewing kit, wonderful. Well, you know, I haven't seen any flares lately in Interloper, like the... I don't think they're that common. It doesn't seem that common anyway. Could end up being More wood matches, hugely important. And I could really go for a crowbar because I'm tired of missing these spawns.
Ah. <laughs> Just gotta look in the right places, apparently. That's all there is to it. Part of me wants to break that down. Because I have a feeling there might be something good underneath it. 27 minutes. That's a lot of calories, man. Just to break down a cardboard box? Ah, oh, jeez. Will's kind of a wuss when it comes to busting up cardboard boxes, isn't he? Okay. Toaster. Just looking around, seeing if I missed anything. Different angles and whatnot. That f oh! What have we here? And that is how we are going to end this episode. So, guys, so far so good. I'm really liking our chances. I hope you enjoyed this extra long initial episode. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next episode of The Long Dark Interloper. Y'all take care.